call it historic harbour as many times as you like. Basically, it's still a dock designed for unloading and loading ships. There's still the sand trade, not the world's most romantic boat maybe, but still a, a reasonable sized ship coming in and moving in the dock. And they're very important, not only to the finances of it all, and they contribute a fair amount to the upkeep of the dock, but to the, the look of the place. People wonder where the big ships are. It's all very well looking around at all the Tupperware boats in here, but you want real things. They're being told it's a historic harbour they're being told it's the city docks. They expect to see things that belong in the dock. The way things seem to be going, there won't be anything historic left in the harbour at all. There'll be large statues of Cabot kicking around the place, but nothing real. And people do know the difference between real things and recreated things. And they appreciate the sort of feel, smell, the whole aura of realism that you get in, in an area like this. The problem is that people don't particularly like mess and noise outside their houses. Uh, some people do. I know a number of people who've moved into houses, for instance, opposite the sand yard, because they enjoy being able to look out of their front room at other people working. It's one of people's favourite occupations is watching other people at work. 